<laughs> Yo, every week, man, she pull up with all the info you need to know. There's a lot of people you can't believe, but you can believe the hype. What up, Legally Hype? What it do? What it do? Good morning. Listen, there's so many targets to shoot at this morning. I don't know where to begin. Let's start with NBA Youngboy, who actually kind of got like some good news for once. For sure. Okay, so boom. I need his lawyer's uh, contact information mm -hmm. because y'all know the feds got a 96% conviction rate. Mm -hmm. And this man went on a high-speed chase <laughs> with guns in the car as a felon and was found not guilty in the federal court. And I mean, his attorney did an amazing job on his case. Like that is the type of lawyering I, I hope to do in my life. So they basically argued um, that his rap lyrics could not be used against him. Right. And they did that by showing a study that was conducted that showed that people um, do not really like rap lyrics. Right. So they showed the group of people basically like some lyrics and they were country music lyrics. And so when they were told that they were a country song, the people was like, oh, OK, this is cool. But when they were told it was a rap song, they was like, no, we don't really like that. And the lawyers brought that into court and the judge went for it on top of knocking out the gun charges. So kudos to NBA Youngboy and his team because they did their thing. I can tell the big difference between before he had the baby with Floyd Mayweather's daughter and after, because he definitely was in attendance. And I'm going to only have to say that he was in attendance because he might have had something to do with getting him them good lawyers because, you know, Floyd them be the case of two. Yeah. Look, that's what I said. I, I said, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all exactly. somebody can't do my time but uh yeah boy what's up what's good? right what's up? but that's well, not all for nba young boy though because he does have another case that's around the corner this one's based in new orleans and it has like 15 other people involved yikes yeah so okay so boom he definitely got that uh other case pending but but this is the thing though after the victory in this case that prosecutor is going to have a hard time overcoming, you know, some of the uh, issues that were addressed in this federal case. But also it's going to depend on the judge. So if the judge is not as lenient or I wouldn't say lenient, but if the judge is not as progressive, we'll say, as the judge in the federal court, the NBA young boy, young boy may still have an issue. Again, though, like his lawyers, they came through and they, they argued some some great points. So we're going to see what happens. Now, if I can ask real quick, you know, in all cases, you know, like it's not always like how you see cases play out on television. Like was this cases argued out in front of a jury or was this something that was just handled with like the lawyers and the judge in a not so public manner? OK, so boom. So you do have the option to choose whether you want a bench trial, which means like just a lawyer will hear the case or whether you have a jury trial, which means, you know, you get a jury. So in this case, it was a jury trial. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I even know that they had said one of the people they had to let go because they were like, listen, what if the person's NBA young boy? And he's like, I love NBA young boy. I'm going to let him go free. And they were like, uh, -uh you're out of here, guy. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's it. Actually, I didn't hear that. That's so interesting. Yeah, it's like, like a white, some white kid that they were actually going to have like as a juror. And it just didn't work out for him. Something else oh. that we've seen um, circulate, it's been literally everywhere. And that's this thing with Sesame Place slash Sesame Street and uh, the two kids that were snubbed by the the animals or what do you call it? the Muppets? What do you call it? Rosita. Rosita? Yeah, Rosita. Rosita. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, boom. Rosita in trouble. Okay, because um, a video then went viral, and then after that, there are multiple other videos that have come out about little Rosita doing the same thing to black and brown children. So. Sesame Street got some some smoke in the air right now. Um, they put out a statement and they apologized per usual, right? And they said, oh, we're going to train um, little Rosita and the people so that they don't act like this no more. But the reality is like, no, Rosita act like that. So Rosita need to go. Because this so, ain't the first time, Rosita. This, this ain't the first time, Rosita. So Rosita, you got to go. It's like you, you don't like color people. And that's not going to work at Sesame Street because Sesame Street is supposed to be for everybody. Okay. What's you about the letter R and the R is for racism. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so so what about them saying that they don't want to take this to court because they don't want the kids to have to deal with uh revisiting this incident over and over instead like you said they're asking for a formal apology for rosita to be fired and for the care of therapy for the children how likely do you feel that they're going to get those things 
Okay, so boom. Um, I'm pretty sure Sesame Street would want to settle out of court for whatever reason, right? Because nobody wants that type of publicity. Um, and that would be a huge case, right? The, the video would be all over that, as we can see the videos going viral. Um, I think one of the issues is like a discrimination case is really hard to prove in court, right? Like the burden is super high. Like not only do you have to prove like you are part of a protected class, but um, you also have to prove that whatever happened to you happened to you because that person don't like the type of person you are. That's hard, right? Because if we get another video that shows Rosita doing it to a white kid, right, then your whole argument goes out the window. Right. Um, so that is probably one of the reasons why we probably won't see a formal lawsuit. But, you know, these kids, like racism is serious, right? And these are little kids and, and things like this stick with children um, for a long time because right. they don't understand um, these biases that adults have, right? right? They are just like, I'm a kid, what I do, you know what I mean? And you never know how that kid is going to internalize that. Yeah. And so I do think it's fair um, for Sesame Street to pay for these children to have some sort of therapy and, and formal um, healing on this, right? Because you have to teach these kids, like, it ain't to do with you. And sometimes just coming from your parent is not enough. Mm. So, you know, and there are other children who have seen this. And I think we also need to hold Sesame accountable because y'all, y'all audience is children. Hey. So you feel me? Like whatever excuse you had, little Rosita couldn't see whatever the case may be. That's on you, Sesame. So y'all yeah. need to get it right. So I do think and it was there. And it was originally made for a uh, little black and brown children. Uh, Sesame Place was uh, de the demo was little black and brown children. So Rosita, watch your back. Rosita. And there's so many questions there with that too. Like you know, you know, because we're, we're we're saying Rosita, like Rosita, the actual Muppet or the actual character is the one being right. racist. But who was working Rosita that day? Right. Who okay. was the person in the other costumes that was bumping into children and mushing people and all that other stuff? Is it one person? The, or is it the act of many? Okay, so boom. It sounds like Rosita is one person. Um, and it's unfortunate that it's the character Rosita that's getting a bad rap. But get it together, Rosita. Um, because we don't know who's behind that costume. Only that's Sesame right. knows that. So guess who's going to get in trouble? The, the character. It is what it is. I would Open expect Sesame this behavior to be from Sesame telly. real quick. Cool. There's well, real quick, let's we'll switch gears from Sesame Street to the actual streets. The rap game is in trouble. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Kodak Black found himself in an interesting situation the other day, which it seems like he might be able to skate off on this one because he did bond out. But they're saying in the matter of the next 60 days, some more notable artists may be brought into this whole Atlanta dragnet that they got Gunna and Young Thug and a whole bunch of YSL members in. What's the latest that you know? Okay, so boom. Um, the streets of Atlanta are hot, and we're not talking about global warming, okay? Um, the Atlanta DA and the police department, they have this thing called Operation Heat Wave, and their whole thing is, look, we crack it down on the streets. Gang members, we're coming to get you. So if you're involved in gang activity, we're coming to get you. Now, I don't know who the other... Um, I guess celebrity or major people that are going to be um, indicted are. Um, Afani hasn't released that information yet, but she did say in the next 60 days, that's what's going down. But basically, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry, girl. No, I was going to say, so what's that paperwork that's going around that people are claiming that it's going to be Little Dirk and um, Little Baby? This uh, it was supposedly some paperwork that they found in the courthouse, or is that just all cap? Okay, so boom, I don't know. I need to find out. The last interview she did, um, she said that um, she didn't tell us who it was. Yeah. So this is probably recent. And, you know, like these things are public. Once they file the indictment, it's public. So it's possible, you know, and people, they get that information, you know, people in the DA's office, they leak stuff on. The right. Phone, so you never know. I do want to correct myself. Not Little Baby and Little Dirk. Little Baby's team and okay. Little Dirk's team. So um, their crew, whatever the case. So it wasn't specifically their name. I don't want um, people to say, but that's what was circulating around on Twitter. And, and uh, I think it was YouTube. It's very possible, right? Because they are targeting any individuals that they have determined are gang members or associated with the gang or any type of activity, right? If they can link you to a situation, 
you getting in trouble. So I recommend stay away from Hood Day for a minute <laughs> if you live in Atlanta. Word. You know what I mean? Like, go ahead and just stay low. Keep stuff off the internet, Instagram, Twitter. You knock it off because they are on it. They they are going through training. Okay, like they are taking this situation really serious. And it's scary because their argument is like, we're trying to clean up the streets. We don't right. want these people on the streets, blah, blah, blah. But then you're putting them in jail. Right. Mm -hmm. In a jail that is not safe in a jail where you don't have enough staff for the inmates you already got. Right. Mm. In a jail where we just saw an inmate do a video, uh, did a whole interview with the news the other day where there was a dead body hanging over the railing for hours because you Damn. didn't have enough staff to deal with. That it, was right? in Atlanta. I in didn't Atlanta. see that. Yes, in Atlanta, right? So this, this is the issue, right? What we're doing is we're sweeping the problem under the rug as mm -hmm. opposed to really combating the real issue. The real Absolutely. issue is these kids need opportunity. The real issue is, right, these people have grown up in poverty, a lot of them who are underneath these stars and doing this work, right? The real issue is you got big dogs who getting all the money and the little dogs going down for it. Yeah. That's the real issue, right? The real issue is we need programming because putting them in jail for 20, 30 years where they won't even, even if they do get out, the opportunity is still going to be low. That's not fixing the problem. Right. Yeah, so that's the door. issue I got with this one. Yeah. Hopefully it's a plot twist. It's not a rap person. It's like an R&B person. You know, hopefully. to just you know. Take hopefully, the it's uh, the white people that be out there getting uh, you know, doing and throwing things in our community. Now, Gunna, uh, yesterday he filed the motion, or the other day his lawyer filed the motion for a different county to see if he can get bond. How likely is that? And what does that mean? Because wouldn't it be the same judge? Okay, so boom. I, I don't know how they're doing that one out there, to be honest with you. that That's a little different. Um, it's, it's, it's above my legal knowledge right about <laughs> now, right? I need okay. my, my JD for that one. But um, the likelihood of him getting bond is probably going to be really low. And part of it is because he is a potential flight risk. But on top of that, right, the biggest concern is like, are you going to be a problem for other people on the street who maybe we need to testify or whatever the case may be? Like you have too much access to the type of people or to the people that we need, you know, to, to get this case cracking. Mm -hmm. You got too much access to them if we let you out. Right. Yeah. And maybe they, they could be like, oh, we fear for our life because he's going you know, he to come get me or whatever the case may be. Even if that is not true. Right. Um, the reality is that is a possibility. And so it is very unlikely that he will receive a bond at this point. Wow. Well, fingers crossed. We hope for the best, you know, for everybody that's innocent. And, you know, and hopefully, you know, the people's out here really doing the dirt, you know, go down for the dirt they did. Right. You know, because, you know, there's families that are suffering because of some of the stuff that happened as well. So that's that on that. A.B., appreciate you as always. Uh, people want to tap in with you, cop some merch or just see what you talk about on a day to day basis. Where did it go? I am legally hyped on all social media platforms. You keep busting me out about the merch. Look, check this out. That ain't on me, okay? They they, they ain't not finished with the website yet. And every <laughs> couple of days, it's a couple of days, and it's a couple of days. So y'all better stop yelling at me about that merch. But it's coming. But okay. I am legally hyped. <laughs> we copping when it's out. What's out for legally hyped? Thank you so much, Queen. Thank you. Thank you. We, we are the morning hustle.